working here at UCI Health, we really try to push the limits in how we think about things and how we learn things and how we research things so that we can think outside of the box to provide solutions to patients that really might not have very good solutions. Most esophageal cancer starts with something called Barrett's esophagus. And that really starts because of gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. A lot of people don't know that they have GERD because they don't have the typical symptoms of heartburn and chest pain and maybe difficulty swallowing. So a lot of people have what's called silent reflux or silent GERD. And because of that, somebody can develop Barrett's esophagus, the precursor to esophageal cancer without even knowing they have it. I can't overstate enough how important early detection of Barrett's esophagus and esophageal cancer is. And what's really exciting now is some simple tools to help us screen. One of those things is something called cytosponge. Cytosponge is a procedure that you can do in the office. You do not have to have an MD present. It can be done by a nurse or a medical assistant, and it takes about 15 minutes out of your day. Barrett's esophagus is the precursor to esophageal cancer. Here we have five modalities for treatment of Barrett's esophagus. Two are procedures where we actually freeze the tissue, and three are procedures where we burn the tissue. The most common procedure that we use for treatment of Barrett's is something called radiofrequency ablation, and these treatments are over 90% effective in removing that Barrett's tissue. I think we can all learn a lot from Patrick's case. His esophageal cancer was really detected because of a CT scan that was done as part of a workup for a heart condition. On that CT scan, they had noticed a little bit of thickening in the bottom of his esophagus. I was staying down in Newport Beach at a hotel. I just happened to look down at the nightstand. I saw the magazine and I saw the best doctors in Orange County, and I flipped through and they had every doctor imaginable, and then I got to the GI section, and I saw Dr. Sam Racinra with a five-star rating, and it said UCI Health, and I'm like, this is the guy. The typical surgery to treat esophageal cancer is something called an esophagectomy. It's a big operation, and it affects patients' quality of life in a big way. The procedure that I do called endoscopic submucosal dissection is able to be done really as an outpatient procedure where I go in with an endoscope and use specialized instruments to cut underneath the tumor and essentially dissect off the tumor from the wall of the esophagus so the tumor is removed in one piece so we can guarantee that all the cancer has been removed. The doctors here are very passionate about what they do and when you talk to them, you can tell that they're, they're very interested in saving your life like they, you're their brother or sister. You know, they know this isn't a broken toe. This is cancer, this is life and death. And they're very, very thorough. And I felt like family. I was able to do the procedure and remove the tumor and essentially provide Patrick with what we call an endoscopic cure. Right now, Patrick is tumor free and cancer free. We are getting so, so good at treating Barrett's esophagus and early esophageal cancer. And when somebody is diagnosed with esophageal cancer where it's sort of too late or too deep into the wall to do ESD, it really breaks my heart. There is never a point where we give up hope. There's never a point where we throw in the towel we really do stop at nothing to provide the best care and the best options for our patients.